Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Liv. And this is the Maki vlog. You can see our Maki behind us, but we have some big, exciting news, at least for us, and some exciting stuff that maybe you'll be interested in as well. So let's go. We're still catching up on vlog videos, but there's we have about six videos of vlog coming out which detail the process of us getting here. If you didn't know, I don't blame you, stuff's been crazy. This is our new home in California. We're so excited. We have a big garage that Blusa Vitrusiva can live in, but we're in California. Electricity is super expensive, and there was a big change that happened earlier this year. So we moved in and immediately started the process of getting solar. We wanted to take you along for the ride because, wow, it is quite a ride. It is very daunting. You know, the, the biggest thing is, is like as soon as we got here, we realized electricity is anywhere from like four to 10 times pricier than it was in Colorado. Yes, seriously, much, much, much more expensive. I mean, our electricity bill in Colorado, it started going up. I don't know what it is for you because sometimes we say a number to people and they're like, oh, that's crazy. But to us, it's like not that crazy. But our bill in Colorado was creeping up to $300 for electricity and gas. Um, in the winter. In the winter. Uh, we didn't know what it was going to be in the summer, but it was normally way more in the summer. Um, so I think everything's getting more expensive everywhere. I, I said that number to someone who lives in Texas and they were like, oh, mine's never close to 100. Um, but so you have to let us know down below what yours is. But we knew California is crazy. Everyone knows that the electricity bills are crazy. We are on San Diego Gas and Electric scg and &E here. Um, and they actually doubled their costs at the start of the year. And California has this thing. It's called net metering. We're not going to talk about it um, long because it's only pertinent to California people. But if you are in California and you've ever thought about solar, you should do it now. now. You do it now immediately because their net metering is changing and it's basically going to be four times less uh, affordable for you or like the money that you'll get back is four times less impactful yeah. basically we can go into it more if you want for sure but like if you're in california do it now immediately right now uh, is would be our encouragement <laughs> <laughs> which is so uh, leads to another point like we're not going to go into a lot of details on this channel because it's mock e vlog uh, we're going to do some things that are related to like you know charging our mock e using solar how to optimize that and just sort of update you guys on the process of, you know, what we're doing as long, you know, as well as like with our road trips or whatever. But we do have another channel where we'll go way more into detail. We're going to go into like, you know, about picking energy providers uh, or energy, uh, solar energy installers, all of that good stuff, you know, different uh, types of inverters, you know, whatever, ho however detailed that you want. But that's going to be on our EV Explored channel. If you haven't already, please go subscribe. We'll put a link down below. We'll pop it up here, but go subscribe to EV Explored if you want all of those details, but we're also going to cover like other non mach -E stuff on there. So other EVs, uh, EV basics, uh, EV charging, all of that good stuff that you're interested in, we'll, we'll cover over there. Yeah, exactly. But we will have a lot of solar stuff here too, because the mach -E started this whole bull rolling, right? Um, you get an EV, you start burning electricity, that's, you start using electricity, that's when you want to go solar, that's when you want to become less grid reliant, and it makes the most sense. So solar paired with some EV plans that they have in our electricity provider here, and I assume they have EV plans everywhere. Um, not everywhere, but a lot of places Hopefully. do. We'll show you how to find out like how to get the best uh, rates for EV charging, even if you don't have solar. And then, you know, if you do have solar, what are your options, you know? So we'll, we'll take a look at a lot of that stuff. A lot of this, like we learned from Energy Sage, uh, we're, we're partnering with them because they are such a great info provider of just, just like a lot of that uh, information that like I didn't know now that I, now I know a lot more. And they also help connect you with uh, potential contractors. Like if you do want to go solar, so. Lots yeah. of lots of good information there. We'll put a link down below for that for our partner page with Energy Sage, which we're yeah. very very proud that we are partnering with them. And they're, maybe that's... They're, they they actually said they're excited to partner with us because uh, they partnered with some other YouTubers that like had 
solar or that they wish they could get solar, but they're in an apartment or something like that. But we're actually going through the process. So we're going to walk you through step by step of, you know, getting the bids, picking a, a contractor, getting the permits, getting the HOA approval, all of that stuff. So this is basically us announcing a series that's going to come out. We don't know how clean it's going to be. We don't know what's going to be on Maki Vlog, what's going to be on EV Explore. And you guys can help us with that. If the things that you want to know and that you want to see, let us know and we will do our best to accommodate because we're learning along the way and we want to share what we learn with you guys. So by the way, the partnership with Energy Sage, oh my God, it's so exciting. And we didn't set out to do that. We were yeah. using Energy Sage anyways. And then Patrick bumped into someone who works there at CES and was able to orchestrate that. So this, we were using Energy Sage. Energy Sage is free. Yeah. It is a free resource. They're paid by the solar companies or whatever to, to vet them. And they vet people very carefully. Um, we just attended a webinar of theirs and they share a bunch of information. So if you're curious about Energy Sage, um, they're great. They're unbiased and it's free. You just yeah. go, you put in your details and then they tell you what you need to know. And then they send your stuff to other solar companies or two solar companies. And then you can pick and they will help you and they give you an advisor to help you. So it's not biased. You're not like signing up for anything. You don't have to pay anything to use Energy Sage. It's just to help you do this because it's very complicated and very daunting and really, really, really expensive. Yeah. It, yeah. Well, so o over time, it should pay off, and we'll yeah. you know we'll get into all of that. Like I said, we we got a lot of stuff planned. Uh, we didn't you know we're not still 100 percent sure how much we'll include on the Mach E channel. Uh, definitely the EV related stuff because one of the things that we're doing since we just moved in, we don't have a 240 volt outlet out here in the garage. So I, I just said, hey, um, you know, instead of me hiring a contractor to install that, and then you guys come and do the solar work on the panel. Can you guys just do that? And uh, they agreed to just throw that in with our, our solar installation. And when he says they, this is our solar company. Yes. Yeah. Um, and speaking of which, we can show you a little bit of the garage over here because this is yeah. all going to undergo a change. So another thing, California, we're finally able to recycle. We didn't have access to recycling at our home in Colorado. This is all recycling. Moving makes a lot of boxes and things like that. So we're gradually recycling all that. But you see that little orange rectangle uh, on the other side of the recycling. That is basically where our box is on the outside of the building and when our panel, where our panel is going to go when they install the Yeah, they're going to install like the controller module or whatever it is. See, I got to learn <laughs> on the inside. And they're like, it's going to go about right there. Uh, we still haven't decided do we want to put charging in that same corner, which um, they may want to since they're doing it for free. But I'd like to, you know, like right now, I think over there in the, uh, on that side, that wall would be better for me because the, the Maki charging is, is over there. But, but also when I get my Bolt, maybe Bolt, we'll see. Or 500E. Or 500E or something else. Or i3 um, or Model 3. That could 3. go here or, or Model 3. Or that could go behind the Maki. Uh, or on the other side. So we want something that'll be flexible. Anyways, um, let us know because a lot of people are gonna have two EV families, right? Yeah. Two, two EV car, EV families and an interesting setup. So we're open to messing around with stuff. Obviously there are things that can hook to the roof and make it easier to move stuff around. I so know. we'll see. <laughs> we have questions. I know you guys have questions. So again, like we're gonna emphasize like, Drop a comment down below if you want. Uh, email us at info at evexplore.com and we'll answer questions uh, in a future video or we'll respond directly to you if it's not something that everybody needs to, to hear. But we'll, we'll, we'll do our best. Like we want to like help everybody go through this and we're sort of excited. Um, we're going to look at, you know, other stuff that's related, including smart home technology because I sort of think that goes hand in hand hand in hand because it can help you save some energy costs. We're going to look at uh, backups, uh, maybe a solar generator or two. Who knows where this will lead us? Uh, smart lighting? Uh, I don't know. Um, no, like that's the aim, isn't it? To have a smart house. Uh, like at CES, we were able to look at smart chargers, right? Making that whole process simpler so that you don't have to know everything. Um, but Patrick is really good at this tech stuff. So like why not make our home smarter so that certain things happen like energy management, like moderating the lighting or the blinds to come down when it's better for the temperature, whatever. There's a lot. 
But we actually have something that's part of this whole series that just arrived yesterday. So why don't we take a look at it? Yeah. We're here at the front of the house. As you can see, it's really bright. I can barely see you guys. This is a great opportunity for solar. A whole bunch of our neighbors have solar. You can see over here, um, the side that we're actually gonna have the solar on is uh, the furthest from us to my left. Uh, and unfortunately, when we bought the house, we thought this might be the case, and it is in fact that we have to replace the underlayment as well. That's something that you should consider uh, when you get solar. They have a whole process that they do that. But let's go around to the other side and check something else out. Okay, so here's the backyard. This is something that's really cool that we just got yesterday to do a review. So we'll do a full review of this, but it is basically a generator. Can you be charged using like a regular 120 volt outlet? But we also got this to review. It actually came with two of these, but portable solar panels. So very cool. We are just playing around with it right now. Of course, it's in the shade, um, but we charged it this morning. It went from, uh, I think 52% up to 100% just in a couple of hours, really. So uh, this was generating about 136 watts, which was pretty cool in the morning. Uh, I got to move it and take it in now. But uh, last night we had some fun with it. We just sort of used the generator portion and powered our TV and speaker system last night. So it was sort of like, hey, we're watching entertainment off of solar power. So anyways, we're going to do a full in-depth review of this uh, again we have some smart lighting like up here right now. It's just a regular uh, floodlight basically in the back. I need to take that off, replace it. And we're gonna in install some smart lighting. And the idea is, you know, stuff like that. It's like, it would be nice to, you know, during the day have it power it off. And then at night it comes on with the motion sensors and stuff like that. And, and a lot of other things that one won't make a huge difference because you know, it's no big deal, but, but hopefully throughout the house, we'll be able to have some of those energy savings. For example, when we were playing around with this last night, we uh, turned everything off with the TV and uh, the sound bar and everything. And I noticed it was still drawing about 25 Watts even with everything powered off, which doesn't sound like a lot, but considering like a lot of your light bulbs are about nine watts, it was like sort of having like two and a half, three lights just left on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we may use that TV for two hours a day. So that's a lot of wasted energy. You know, those small things will add up over time. So that those are the reasons why, well, I just like dealing with the smart home stuff. So we're going to go into some real deep stuff on that as well. Again, don't know how much we'll make a YouTube video about, don't know what channel we'll put it on, but we are going to make a bunch of videos about it for sure. And uh, let's see, what else can we talk about? Well, <laughs> I do want to point out Patrick calculated this. He's such a nerd and I love that, that uh, when we had, when he was working out the TV, basically, if, uh, what was it? If the TV itself is using $25 a year, just to exist plugged in. Yeah, so basically what I did is I, I just sort of like this thing down here will show me the watts going in, but it also shows me the watts going out. And I just calculated at like 23 watts, 25 watts. Um, we're not using that TV, let's just say 16 hours a day to be uh, sort of conservative, but you know, 16 hours a day where it's not being used times our utility rate and it adds up to about 25 bucks a year. So. Yeah, Anyways. but okay, this unit, <laughs> as this pertains to the Maki, -E, we heard that they were able to charge EVs with this unit previously. They cannot do it now, but it's something that they're working on. So that is something that's going to be in our future, because obviously this is a big question that a lot of people have. Can you charge with portable batteries? Having a solar layout like this, especially with the two panels, so 400 watt, that's a big deal. We're also going to do a couple things like um, off-grid stuff. Maybe see what we can power on the beach. See if we can have a band play using this somewhere. <laughs> Who could we get for that? Yeah, and, <laughs> and uh, you know, like with the F-150 Lightning and in like Kia, they have some like vehicle to grid or be able to at least power stuff using the vehicle. We can't do that with the Mach-E, but we can do that with this uh, basically portable generator that's a lithium ion battery and by the way it's i think it's about 2.4 uh, kilowatt hours so that sort of gives you the idea it won't be like a, a hundred kilowatt hour battery that you find on a truck or mach-e or whatever 
but it will give you a little bit of stuff for powering some party lights. Nice. I like that. And now here we are in Blue Sofa to Sofer. We are going for a drive towards the ocean. We're about to do something we haven't got to do since we moved here, which is the Oceanside Sunset Market. It is soon to be sunset. I'm trying to look. It still looks pretty sunny right now, but soon to be sunset. So those are our big changes that are coming and some of the exciting stuff that's the us exciting to look forward to. Yeah, we're really excited. We hope you guys are excited. Um, I, you know, one of the things that uh, I didn't mention previously, but what we're sort of hoping is that we'll be able to at some point when somebody says, oh, your EV just runs on coal, we can go, yep. no, <laughs> it's solar. It's, it runs on sun rays. So yeah, hopefully we'll get to that point. We'll take you guys along with us on and, that journey. And let us know how interested you are in the journey and in the various parts of it, because we're big nerds. So we get into all this stuff. Uh, solar generator, obviously not related to EVs, but it is because you start getting into a little bit of this. You get into EVs and you get into solar and then you get into EV adjacent and the accessories and like all the ways to be non-grid dependent and more sustainable because uh, that's a big question, isn't it? Like how is the grid going to handle all this? And e-bikes and e -bikes. Uh, e garden equipment. Uh, I mean, do we have e garden equipment? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just saying there's like that. Those are the things that I know personally of people. They've got an EV, then they wanted solar That's or right. they wanted an EV lawnmower or electric lawnmower. So there, there's a lot of different ways that we can go with this. And uh, I, I like it all because it's all tech related. Yeah. So please share what you're interested in. And if you're not interested in this stuff, let us know because we'll put what you're interested in on this channel. We'll put stuff on the other channel. We're still learning about all this stuff, but we genuinely want to share it. It's really bright right now, so we might have to go yeah. <laughs> driving towards the sun. I just, I'm going to hide in the camera. But thank you so much for joining us for this video where we updated you on our going solar and our new exploits and everything that that's going to entail. I can't see anything. Can you see? You're the driver. Nope. I'm just looking at the tail lights in front of me. <laughs> Big thank you to our patrons whose names are scrolling across the screen. You guys helped make this possible. And thank you for watching because ultimately that's everything. And thank you for commenting and all that. <laughs> Anyways, just remember that whatever you drive, whether it's powered by coal or the sun's rays, Ooh, enjoy cool. the ride. Still enjoy the ride. Bye. <laughs>